How do you protect your hair of any type? Your hair is the title of your beauty. Types of hair. There are three types of hair, each of which needs special care methods, dry hair, oily hair, and normal hair. Dry hair. Dry hair appears to lose its luster and vitality, and is interrupted by the dryness of the split ends that appear and dry hair may be due to the weak activity of the sebaceous glands located in the scalp, and it may be due to external reasons that tend to the hair and lead to dryness, such as too much exposure to chemicals through the work of dyes and others, or it may be exposed to heat repeatedly, such as exposure to blow dry or exposure to sunlight for a long period. Greasy hair. Oily hair appears in oily scalp, which produces an excess amount of fat as a result of the increase in the activity of the sebaceous glands than usual, and one of the most prominent problems of oily hair is that it is quickly exposed to dirt, dust and often accompanies oily hair a dandruff problem, which makes it in need of continuous care to look elegant. Normal hair. It is the hair that is surrounded by a moderate layer of fat and does not require special care methods. Rather, it is necessary to beware of becoming dehydrated due to frequent washing or the use of harmful chemicals or exposure to heat for a long period, either being exposed to the bleach or sunlight for a longer period than usual. Hair Care Tips To maintain your hair strength and lasting shine, you must follow the following. 1. Wash your hair at least twice a week 2. The shampoo may cause it to remove the oily layer surrounding the hair, but soon the hair will lose its loss and form a new greasy layer, and the best way to do that is to use hair oils after washing this if your hair is dry and does not replace the oily layer easily 3. The need to massage the scalp daily and this is very important because it helps stimulate blood circulation to the scalp, which increases the amount of food that reaches the hair through the blood. 4. Use the comb and brush gently and avoid violence, as it leads to hair breakage 5. The hair must be given an open leave because it gets tired from the abundance of blow-dry, individual and dye, so it must be given a leave of up to 6 months and avoiding all chemicals completely and more than using an oil bath, olive oil and sesame oil, twice a week. 6. Choose a gentle shampoo followed by conditioner to maintain the balance of the scalp. 7. After removing the conditioner, put cold water on the scalp and gently massage the hairline in a calm and circular manner and with continuity you will feel some heat and this means that blood circulation has been stimulated to the scalp and this matter is very important to nourish the hair roots as it will give you a feeling of relaxation and psychological comfort as well as massage helps blood flow to hair follicles in healthy growth. 8. The hair is at its most vulnerable when wet, as the hair can be easily broken, so when removing tangles from your wet hair, do not use the comb from the roots of the hair. 9. Always use a wide-toothed comb and do not use a brush. 10. Always clean the comb so that dirt does not gather in it, which will damage your hair later. 11. Try not to comb your hair in very cold weather, as this will cause electrical touches. 12. You must wash your hair after swimming with shampoo and conditioner to remove the salt and chlorine that damage the hair. 13. Do not comb your hair while it is wet because the hair pores are damp, which leads to pulling out the hair or weakening the roots. 14. If you need to comb the hair while it is wet, you must use a very wide comb to reduce hair pulling or hair loss. 15. Do not comb the hair several times a day because this will lead to hair breakage and will also lead to increased activation of the sebaceous glands located under the skin of the head, which leads to the secretion of excessive amounts of fatty substances that cause hair to oil and negatively affect its health and beauty. 16. Always make sure to cut the ends of the hair once every two months because this helps the hair to grow in a natural way and allows to avoid warping or breakage of the ends of the hair. 17. Make sure to wash the comb and clean it with soap in a regular way. 18. Change the hair comb regularly just as you change the toothbrush. Here are some tips for preserving your hair. Follow us to benefit from the tips that will make your skin and hair extremely soft and beautiful.